it's Nady Patiti here again. So, listen, we all know that study abroad is not going to be cheap. We've all worried about money a million times when it comes to even thinking about study abroad. Well, don't worry, guys. I'm going to tell you what scholarships you can get that is going to be detrimental to helping your study abroad. study abroad, you're going to obviously need some money. And what is better than free money? A scholarship, guys. Well, most of you probably don't know where to go to find scholarships, so I'm going to help you guys out. I'm just going to tell you, here is some ways to get scholarships in Japan or for other study abroad. Scholarship number one, the Fulbright Scholarship. The Fulbright Scholarship is one of the most prestigious scholarships in the world and it's in over 155 countries. Now, this scholarship is not only good for American students who want to study abroad in a foreign country, but also for foreign students who want to come to America to study abroad. So yes, if you're not an American, you can get this scholarship too. So this scholarship is already pretty amazing, right? What's even better is it offers full ride, meaning tuition is paid for, housing is paid for, everything is paid for. So since 2013, more than 325,400 persons, 122,800 were from the United States, and 202,600 from other countries have participated and accepted this program since it began all those years ago. So this is the granddaddy of all scholarships. Try, it's highly, highly competitive, and only a certain amount are given out each year. In fact, 8,000 are given out each year. Let's get on to our next scholarship. Number two. Now this scholarship is also really big, but it's only available for American students. This is the scholarship that helped pay for my study abroad experience here in Tokyo. Living here is not cheap and is not easy. And if it wasn't for this scholarship, there's no way I would even be able to begin my abroad journey here in Japan. Now this is none other than the Gilman Scholarship. Now this scholarship is open to American students who are in financial need. Students who receive the Pell Grant from the government. Meaning, if your parents make too much money, unfortunately, you're out of here. Sorry guys, my family, we're all broke. That's not really good either. Scholarship over 2,700 scholarships of up to $5,000 are annually awarded. Now, this can change a little bit depending on how expensive the country you're going to and how long you're there. Also, with this, you can do summer study abroad programs. You ever see that awesome study abroad program at your school that said, hey, we got a summer program. You thought, how the hell am I going to afford a summer program? I barely get fast as it is. Well, don't worry. You can get up to 3,000 US dollars for a summer study abroad program and up to 4,000 to 5,000 US dollars per semester or per year, depending on your country. And it gets even better than that. If you are studying a critical language, you can get offered up to 8,000 US dollars for your study abroad. So what exactly is a critical language for the Gilman Scholarship that is? Well, I'll tell you. It's Arabic, Chinese, Bahasa Indonesia, Japanese, Turkic, Persian, Indic, Korean, Russian, and Swahili. Alright, so these two are the granddaddies of study abroad scholarships. On the Fulbright, you get full tuition. On Gilman, you just get a crap ton of money. But maybe you're thinking, well, what else, Nathan? What else? What outside of America can I get? Ask 
your study abroad university. Most times they offer a lot of scholarships for foreign students to come to the university to study. Either that or the country that you're going to has many, many, many scholarships that basically encourage study abroad in their country. So, to give you a good example here, my university located in Shibuya, Tokyo is Aoyama Gakuin. Now, Aoyama Gakuin offers a scholarship up to Juman N for its foreign exchange students. What's nice about this scholarship is almost everyone gets it, so you'd be stupid not to try to apply for it. So guys, remember this. Ask your study abroad university. Find out what scholarships they have, and who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and get that nice big scholarship, and then you can go ahead and do a backpacking trip, go skiing, or maybe, I don't know, swim with sharks if you're in Australia or something. Alright, so this last one, unfortunately for you guys who want to study abroad in different countries, is a Japan America only study abroad opportunity scholarship. This is the Bridging Scholarship. Now, the Bridging Scholarship was promoted to encourage American students to study abroad in Japan because despite being really good allies right now, there is not enough American students who come to Japan for study abroad. In fact, this scholarship offers you a stipend of $2,500 for semester long programs and $4,000 for full year programs. What's nice about this, undergraduate students majoring in any field at all whatsoever and who do not have to necessarily study Japanese before coming can apply and is eligible for this scholarship. You don't have to even speak Japanese, have anything related to Japanese major, and you can come here to Japan and study abroad and they'll give you money for it. How awesome is that? Yeah! This scholarship is extremely competitive and only 100 of them are given out every year. And what does this mean for you? It means your chances of getting this one is going to be difficult. As always guys, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. The more people this video sees, the more people I can help. Also, leave me some comments in the section. I'll try to answer them. If a comment gets a lot of likes, a lot of requests, I'll make you guys another video talking even further to help you guys out. That's all I got for this video. Later, taters! Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna send that to them, and if you get accepted, good news, you're in the school. Bad news is, FAFSA will not cover this.